this is Albert Dutra from TechCoachAlbert.com, the site dedicated to bringing you helpful tips, step-by-step guides, and app reviews to help you learn so you don't have to call someone else for help. In today's video, we're going to go through the beginner's guide through Malware Bytes, a malware program that we prefer to use to clean up your computer. First thing we want to do is open their website. You always want to go to the manufacturer or software creator's website to download the installation programs. It's the safest and cleanest way to do so. We're going to go ahead and open our browser, connect to malwarebytes.org, as we can see here at the top of our screen. Once we get to that page, we'll go ahead and choose the free version download on the lower left hand corner. That's going to take us to the um, what version of Malwarebytes page you would like to use. You can either choose the home or business option. In this case, we're going to choose the home option. This will automatically download the installation file to your PC. And as we can see here in Google Chrome, it shows us on the lower left hand corner as it's, as it's downloading. We'll go ahead and wait for that to finish, and then we'll proceed with the setup. According to our browser, our download is complete. We'll go ahead and click on the download in the lower left hand corner and open up the open file security warning from Windows. Go ahead and choose the option to run this program. Windows may then prompt your permission again. Go ahead and choose yes if requested. Next, the install program is going to ask us what language we want to use. We'll go ahead and choose English, but there's more options available in the dropdown. This launches us into the actual installation procedure. Th the first screen shows us what we're installing, which is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware and the version of the software as well. It also recommends that we should close all our other programs when we go through the installation. We don't want any file conflicts. Go ahead and choose Next to continue. The following screen will display the license agreement. Go ahead and scroll through that, read through that as you f see fit, and choose the I accept option when ready, and then choose the Next button to continue. The following screen displays the current version we're installing along with the recent issues fixed. We can go ahead and choose next to proceed. Next is going to ask us where we want to install this program. The default option is fine, as well as the name of the program we want to install that we'd find on our start menu. Go ahead and leave it at the default as well. They'll ask if you'd like to create a desktop icon to quickly access this program. Go ahead and leave that selected and choose the next option. This screen will give us a summary of what settings for the installation we have chosen. We have the directory, the name, and the icon option listed on here. If everything looks okay, choose the install button to proceed. Next, it's going to go through the installation procedure. You'll see the green bar move across your screen as it goes through. Once completed, you'll be prompted with the final screen of the installation procedure. This let us know it's completed and asks if you want to launch the program as well. That's fine. Go ahead and choose that option and go ahead and hit the finish button. The program should automatically open, and you may notice the database version section checking for an update. Every time you open the program, it's automatically going to make sure that it's got the latest version, and it's even going to do this when it's not running, which that's perfectly fine. We definitely want to be searching for the latest known issues that they have. Once that is finished updating, once that has finished updating, let's go ahead and move from the dashboard at the top over to the scan option. This lets us choose what type of scan we want to do on our computer right now. We have the threat scan, which is a in-depth scan. Probably the best one to run. A custom scan if you want to customize the settings yourself, 
or a hyper scan, which is a short, quick scan of the most common threats as well. This is not an in-depth scan though. So in this case, we don't have, we're not in a rush. We want to go ahead and take a full threat scan. Go ahead and make sure the radio button next to threat scan is selected and choose the scan now option. Now keep in mind, this is going to go ahead and scan through all the files on your computer. This is going to take some time. Might want to go grab a snack, maybe even eat dinner and wait for this to get completed. We'll join back up once it's ready. As we can see while the scan's running, it's already found one object. Perfect. That means it's doing its job. Here we can see our scan still running. Looks like it's found 16 things so far. Once the scan is complete, this will take us to the screen that displays all the different malware items that it was found. We can scroll through this list to see the various things. In this case, we detected 387 items. What we want to do is choose the option to quarantine all in the lower left hand corner. That will then fix the items that it was found. This completes the scanning process. As you can see on the screen, to finish off the removal process, our system needs to be restarted. Go ahead and make sure everything is closed off of your machine, files are saved, and choose the yes option to restart your system. The last little bits of the cleanup process will happen during that process. And that completes our installation, setup, scanning, and beginner's guide tutorial for Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. I'd like to thank you for watching our video and hopefully you'll visit us over at the blog soon. Let us know what you thought about the video in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave us a comment on our blog too. We'd love to see you over there. Thanks. Have a good day.